going on guys i'm here i want to talk to you guys a little bit about trolling i know i do a lot of trolling videos and i'm not really throwing that many tips out there for you guys so here we go tip number one on a busy lake where the pleasure boats are chopping up a bunch of weeds it's the best to have your tips in the water even if you got 60 foot of line out the tip in the water is going to save your weeds your baits from falling out and they're not going to collect weeds on the baits and above the leaders and make the and make the baits run incorrect they're going to collect on the rod tip you can then pull the rod out of the holder pull those weeds off the tips it's the best thing you can ever do on a busy lake like a metro lake like this tip number two good rod holders if you want a rod holder you can get the the rod out of very easy and and lift your rod up and down i'm going to show you right here when you want to check your bait and see if it is fouled out you can pull it up pull it up it's all good drop it back down drop this one back down it's the absolute must you got to have good rod holders i run i run uh down east rod holders there are some other good rod holders out there but you really want a rail there's some really nice track stuff out there i run some track tech stuff that's really good too but you, the main thing is you want to be able to pivot those rods in and out of the water and lift them out really easily when there's a fish on there you just pull that right out of the holder there's no messing around pulling it moving that rod around trying to get it out of the holder that's going to save you guys from losing a lot of fish getting them out of the holder right away tighten the drag down on them and you're going to put more fish in the bag that way trolling tip number three now i know a lot of guys aren't familiar with side imaging i run hum hummingbird units helix units i got two nines right here i'm going to show you guys a little bit about these units in your side imaging i can see I, I set mine on 45 foot to the left and the right it gives me the best picture for what i want you can run out farther if you need to but i'm not really i don't really care what's out 60 100 foot from the boat on the left hand side i want to know what's on the boat in a 30 foot left and right why because i want to i want to keep my base as close as i can to the weed beds right now it's fall the water's cooling down it's 70 degrees these fish slid up shallow the reason being they're all the bait move shallow they're, they're not, there's always fish out out in the deep water but on these side imaging units i can look 40 foot to the left and tell you where the weed where the weed edge is i want to get my baits inches away from that weed bed that's why people always say trolling's so easy and anybody can do it no nobody can just start trolling and be very successful you have to learn your units you have to learn your baits you have to learn the speed and you got to learn how much line you want out for your baits to be within inches of the weeds i like to i i can watch on my on my side imaging unit i can watch the weed line up i can watch it get closer and closer to the boat until my rod tip start hitting those weeds you gotta i mean the, these muskies are tighten the weeds because the baits tighten the weeds and side imaging i i have one unit that is completely on side imaging i can tell you if a fish is 10 foot out to the left of the boat i can then waypoint it turn back a, turn back around on my next pass and run right over the top of them you can see and learn so much from side imaging you can see the inside turns on the weed edges the points the g spots it's all easy to find with these new units it lays it out there right for you and makes it simple to use trolling tip number four i know all you guys don't have the money to invest in a good kicker motor but a kicker motor over the last couple years has caught me so many more fish than when i ran my big motor especially when you're up in short line trolling right now i'm in seven feet i'll troll all the way up into three and a half foot with that big motor it's too loud your baits aren't presenting themselves the right sounds and the vibrations running through the water that kicker motor is so quiet you can barely hear it and that puts a lot of fish in the boat i also have a troll master unit hooked to this kicker i can adjust the speed with the dial of a button and get each individual points of a mile per hour some days it matters some days i always like to start off at three and a half and i slowly creep up from there if i go over some of my best water at three and a half i then increase it to about four 
and then I'll go all the way up to about six miles per hour. Speed means everything. Today's a bluebird day. I'm running a little bit slow right now. I just got out here started. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of these tips and stuff. Absolutely, don't hesitate to run really fast when it's bluebird skies. These fish are very wary. The water's kind of, it's kind of murky here, but it's actually pretty clear and it's gonna make the difference, speed. When that, when that bait moves past, past those fish at four, five miles an hour, they're gonna not think about it. You don't want a fish to slowly follow it and not and think about it. That's when you guys are casting and you guys are getting all these follows. They're actually, they're actually, you're moving your baits too slow a lot of times, not all the time. Sometimes they're just lazy and they're not really hungry. But when the fish are hungry and they're coming around in, in the eights really aggressively, move your baits a little bit faster and you'll get more fish in the bag that way. I hope this helps some of you guys. Please like and subscribe if you, if you dig what I'm doing here. Check out some of our other videos. We do all species all the time. Check it out. Stick with us. Slime Quest TV.